Tiffany here. Welcome to Our Organic Life. Sorry, I haven't really been on much. I've been super, super busy. Uh, we're in the middle of closing right now for a property. We actually are supposed to be closing, I think, here next week sometime. But i um, been just been so busy with work. I haven't had any time to post. But I'm trying to fix that. Hopefully soon we'll be getting more videos out. Especially as construction starts picking up and things start happening, we definitely will be uh, posting videos here and there more often. Um, I also want to take this second, uh, this moment to welcome all of our new subscribers. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for uh, visiting our little slice of heaven down here in South Florida. If you um, haven't seen, uh, recently one of our videos blew up. I will leave a link I think it's like up here or up here um, for our fermented chicken feed video. It recently, I don't know, it hit like just the right algorithms and people are finding it and it's blowing up right now. I think it literally gained, I think like 10,000 views in the last week. Oh, I love it. But anyways, so something really cool happened recently. So if you guys recall earlier in the year, we have, this has been just a really rainy season. And earlier this year, we had a like torrential downpour of rain for like three or four days and our garden was flooded. And our garden's still kind of underwater randomly. Uh, so we're, we're gonna have to like kind of like reconfigure that. We just haven't had time to. We're gonna bring in dirt and kind of do some fixing of all that. But of course, unfortunately, we lost a lot of our crops that we had started and grown, um, unfortunately. But recently, uh, we were reached out to by a new uh, seed company called True Leaf Market. And I'm really excited because we talked, we discussed things, and, and we're going to do a collaboration here coming up soon. Um, doing how to start a garden from scratch. Like, I mean, like, from, like, just grass. And how to start from grass and end up with a garden in the end. Um, we're going to be talking about like clearing the grass, cover crops, soil amendments, things like that. Um, so if you're really excited about that, leave a comment down below on things that you are curious about or want to know about when you're starting a garden from scratch. So I kind of think we're, we're in a prime opportunity to do that. So I figured why not? We're going to do that. In the meantime, they sent us a care package um, with uh, <laughs> us losing our garden to the flooding they sent this over. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do an unboxing and a review and just kind of like show you all the goodies that we got. I haven't really like looked at them, I kind of opened it and it's a lot. All right, okay, so the first thing that we got is a, and this is actually kind of something that we're gonna be working on, so I'm just gonna kind of share it, is a cover, a garden cover crop mix. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but uh, it's got uh, wheat, Austrian winter peas, triticale, forage collards, hairy veg, daikon radish, bursine clover, bal balanza clover, and yellow mustard. And um, basically all of these different cover crops are going to grow and improve the soil, uh, dig down deep, uh, aerate and loosen the soil for maybe uh, root crops. And uh, if you've never heard of cover crops, basically it is a variety of different uh, plants, vegetation that you plant that are specifically uh, engineered, like they, they designed the uh, mix of seeds to improve your soil. Um, so like if you have like really compacted soil, like for instance that daikon, that daikon radish that's in there, it's going to grow down and maybe we'll harvest some radish, I don't know, we'll see. But basically it'll root down deep and whenever you harvest it, it'll it, the soil will have been loosened by the root structure. And then you've got all these other things that are gonna like improve nitrogen and just among other things. And oftentimes people will actually till the cover crops down into the soil and that vegetation will decompose and it's kind of like compost right in your garden. So that's the first thing that we were kind of excited about to get in the mail from them. And that's gonna be something that we're gonna be uh, utilizing in our start a garden from scratch series. And then we've got our box. Look at how many they sent us. There's so many. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first seed packet. Oh, I'm excited. They sent us box gloves. I love fox gloves and it's the mixed colored fox gloves. I think I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna actually change this. There we go. So we got foxgloves, and they are just so pretty, great for um, attracting pollinators, and just absolutely gorgeous. And it's something I'm really excited to be growing. I've wanted to grow them, I just, I just never have. So we're gonna plant more flowers. Is that in focus? That's in focus right there. There we go. All right. Next up is, oh, what's this? Oh, we got marigold, so it's not really on the cover. This is just kind of like a generic case, but we've got marigold. And this is a sparky mixed colored marigold. So it looks like a lot of these packages are kind of, there are some kind of generic packages. And this one is uh, Summer Squash Zucchini Black Beauty. So, oh, I haven't grown a Black Beauty zucchini. Then we've got oregano, common Italian. Gotta get that herb garden going. Let's see if we can see that. What's next? Ooh, jalapenos. I, this, this are just, I, I'm not sure if these are gonna be like super spicy, but I definitely like uh, jalapenos. I love jalapeno poppers. We're actually growing, um, planning on growing. <laughs> not anymore because we don't have a garden right now. <laughs> So next is breakfast radish. I've heard good things about these. I think uh, Jess with Roots and Refuge grows these. She loves her radishes. Then next we've got zinnias, Dahlia flowered mixture. So a mixture of zinnias. I love zinnias. They are so pretty. I'm kind of sad that these packets don't have pictures of the of what it is that they're growing. Uh, this is a mescaline salad mix. And then we've got, ooh, Athena Hybrid Cantaloupe Melons. See, I can't tell if I'm in focus or not, but we're gonna just keep, ooh. All right, next up, we've got some Mammoth Long Island Dill. Yeah, I love that dill. I love that tzatziki sauce. That is so good. Then we got Waltham Broccoli. Ooh. Gotta have our Roma tomatoes. That's a definite, gotta have it. It's such a narrow, oof. Playing with the focus here. Then we've got some spaghetti squash. That is a very popular one. And another thing that's also kind of cool about these is there's so many heirlooms in here. There's so many heirloom varieties. We've got some crookneck summer squash. That's definitely gonna be good. Davis loves that. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Pink banana jumbo squash. I've seen this before, never grown it before. I'm excited to try that. It looks like it's, it's be good. Oh, another one of my favorites that I love to grow is Rainbow Swiss Chard. I just, I love this in the garden. Then, Italian large leaf basil. I am loving this mixture. There's like flowers and veggies and leafy greens. All right, we got Bloomsdale long standing spinach. I'm like showing you the packet, but it doesn't have the picture on it. I'm sorry. Sugar snap peas. Sugar peas. Drop them. Okay. Then focus. <laughs> can't tell if it's a focus, it looks like it's a focus. Ooh, I apologize for those who don't like it, but I love it. Cilantro. And we've got Vates Blue Scotch Curled Kale. I love kale. I love, I love kale on roast beef sandwiches. All right, then we got Tokyo Long White Bunching Onions. Then we've got big red sweet peppers. So yeah, oh my God, like look at this. This is like, look at all these seeds they sent us. There's so many seeds. That was, oh my God, that is such a huge help, especially after we lost everything. I was like really, really bummed because I had high hopes for a big garden. So I started a lot of my seeds and some of, some of, some of the seeds, I just started the whole packet. So this definitely helps replenish our uh, seed stores. I just want to give a huge shout out, thank you to True Leaf Market. This, 
this, it was like, whenever they told me they were going to send us some uh, seeds, I was expecting like maybe like five or ten packets. So whenever I opened it up, and I, I think there's like 30 packets, I was like kind of shocked. So this, this helps tremendously and I'm excited. Uh, True Leaf Market, uh, something else that I'm hoping down the road I can get, um, try out with them. They also uh, do mushrooms as well, uh, mushroom starts and stuff like that. And I've really wanted to get into growing mushrooms, so that is definitely on my list of things of theirs that I want to try. And then, um, yeah, they've just got, they've got a good little selection of... Uh, They've got a great selection of seeds, heirloom seeds, and as well as, well as non-heirloom seeds, but they do have a lot of heirloom seeds. I was very happy with that. Uh, they also have some garden tools, books. They do a lot of microgreens as well, so definitely go check out their website. I will leave a link down in the description below, and um, definitely go and check them out, because those I'm excited, especially for mushrooms. I definitely... I'm thinking probably after we build the house and move in, I'm probably going to get started working on growing mushrooms because that would be amazing. I would love to have all the gourmet mushrooms. So thank you so much for joining me. If you uh, have any comments on the seeds that we got or if you have anything, uh, maybe a seed company that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments down below. Another cool thing, if you're still here, thank you so much. We have our Patreon up. Finally, what's Patreon? So Patreon is basically a platform where you can be a patron of the arts, as it were. You know, like back in the day, there was patrons of the arts where they basically funded artists. And so Patreon is a simple platform where you can donate or fund uh, your favorite creator, um, helping them create content and stuff like that. So we have different levels of memberships, but basically you can, you can pledge money each month to help us uh, to help fund our channel, help us work on creating more videos, fund the projects. Um, you kind of, I kind of set it up in a way where you're sponsoring the farm animals in a sense. So like one dollar is like sponsoring seed packets, um, and then like there's different tiers where you can actually choose one of your favorite animals on the farm, and you can sponsor them to help us with the cost of their feed and their care. So um, you can go to the link down below in the description, or just go to Patreon.com/slash/OurOrganicLife to check that out. So thank you so much for joining me today, and check out the description down below for all the links mentioned in this video today. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.